Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is RTJ Runner, and welcome back to Resident Evil 8 Village. So, this could very well be the last part in this series. So, what we've discovered so far is that the Mia that was shot was an imposter. She was a mimic. A mimic. A mimic. She was basically Mother Miranda in disguise. She transformed herself to look like Mia, but we don't know when and where this took place that is the biggest question it's also got me thinking is it possible that she is uh, little rose's birth mother that is the question because we know for a fact that mother miranda has been infected with mold and rose has some unknown powers as well so we don't know what truly happened at all at all. It's still a bit of a mystery. I mean, I like this so far. It's not a dead giveaway. There's still many questions. There's still... I mean... There's still many questions to be answered. What the hell? I had a bit of a brain fart. I apologize. So now we're going to go for a bit of a joyride. And yes, in the last part, I know I forgot to use the little horse ball that I made. Yeah, this one. I'm not sure if I can backtrack and use it. I probably can't. So, we just... What do we do with this now? Oh, we're getting on. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Okay, so first things first. I think we gotta go and kick Heisenberg's ass. I'm coming, Rose. Okay, ready cannon, like so, and fire cannon. Boom! Wait, did that just propel us backwards? Let me try that again. Oh, we got machine guns. Oh, that feels nice with the dual sense. I can guard with L1. So let's try the cannon one last time. Oh, it did propel us back a little bit. Oh, okay, that is awesome. And up we go again. This time to finish what we started. And if any of those plebs come near us, we can just bash them away. Either chop them up, deal with them like so, or cannon fire. So many weapons at our disposal in one tiny unit. Get out of my way! Oh, there you are. Oh, I know I can take you on. Oh, 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 oh. You sure about that, buddy boy? Go on, do your worst. Oh, it's reloading, huh? Oh. What are you going to do with that? No, no, bad, really? That's all you have to say? I know I don't give up that easy. You wish. Well, of course I am. I'm in a machine. Of course I'd be very strong. Come on, show me your weak spot. No, 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 no. Don't be doing that now. Oh, opportunity. Come on, am I even doing any damage here? No, 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 no. 
Oh, where's your weak point? This red thing here? Ow. One hole still. Ah, no. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, buddy. I don't do that. I don't cower. Well, for the most part. Come on, can this thing be any slower at reloading? Yeah, the clock is ticking on your own life. And it's about to end. Oh, you're getting slower. That's good for me. Uh -oh. oh no, he's powering up. He's ready to go, Super Saiyan. at your face uh oh now it's nothing <gasps> oh. the boulder punching asshole <laughs> that's a reference to Chris punching boulders in Resident Evil 5. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, more for more fun than you can imagine. No, not quite hopeless. You sure about that? You, you want to make those bets? Oh, now I've got plenty of ammo to use against you. Now you're done for. Now where's your face? Oh, there it is. I'm guessing you felt that one, did, did you? And I'm still intact. <gasps> Jesus! Mary and Joseph. Come on. Yeah, I gotta put some distance between yourself and myself. I know, probably just waiting around here like an idiot. That easy, really? Come on. You got a bit more fight need, don't you? Or maybe not. Oh, you do. What? Oh, forget you. Uh oh, oh no. Come on, I'm not meant to fly, damn it. Come on, let's finish this. And, oh. Oh, my tail This can't be the end for me. Don't worry, buddy, I'll do that for you. I'll make sure she's dead. And just as dead as you. Crystal Heisenberg. Awesome. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? 
I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Uh oh. That's not Mia. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crazy bitch, you're going down. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over the mall? Mm hmm. Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Come on, Eden Eyes and Reprise. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me! Oh! Shoot! Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Oh! What the hell did you just take out my heart? I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother. Bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> what on earth? I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. What was that? Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. She could fake being a corpse. Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him, and she is not going to get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. So what now? Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. So BSAA got here all 
already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. Perfect. Okay, Miranda, this time you're a well and truly find out what you can. Roger that, I'm armed. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But they well, what do I have here? So med injector. Target locator. So Ethan is dead possibly maybe unless they did say he was infected with the megma site so maybe just maybe he might come back from the dead but we don't know yet Thanks to your recon we know Miranda's plan couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia though taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either spooky Okay, and there is the original mold as far as I know. Or from what I could gather. Hey Alpha, look at this. The SAA. They've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Jeez. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. So, the, BSS, the BSAA have gone too far. I thought they were against bioterrorism. And I know Chris is leading up the new umbrella, Neo Umbrella. Basically, the anti umbrella. So what have the BSAA done now? Get back! Yeah, see they're not so tough this time around. Now the thing is, can I punch them? That's what I want to know. I'd love to be able to punch them. Yeah, we've got plenty of ammo and we've also got what's this a karambit knife a combat knife that's great for close combat lovely this will do so come on come on what you got what you got oh oh gee come on, come on no on me there's plenty to go around So we're taking them out. So we're actually combating the BSAA. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Oh, 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 speak of move to my seat. This is nasty. And yeah, no bullets don't work. Oh sh shizzles. My combat knife definitely ain't gonna do uh, any damage to, to them. Go on! Bring it! Didn't expect to see the BSAA go so 
No, 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 no. Don't do, you dare do anything to me, buddy boy. Okay, I don't think they're dropping uh, anything. Because there's going to be plenty of ammo caches along the way. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I can't go to one of the houses now, but there is a crate here. So this is just going to be guns blazing from now on. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was kind of scary. Okay, dead crow. She said she was leaving supplies in a house. Isn't this a house? Okay, no, apparently we don't need to go in there. Okay, anything in here? Nope. Okay, yeah, so like I said, from this point out, it's going to be combat focused. Not that the game wasn't already combat focused, but it's going back to, you know, Pure action. Not that I mind that. It's a nice change of pace. And also, as it's going to be more combat focused now, there's not going to be any collectibles from here on out as well. At least I don't think so. Oh, well, wow. there's a lot of you. Okay, back it up. Get down off that roof. What the hell are you looking at, Hogley? Get off. <gasps> Ouch. Oh, that was a cheap shot. That was a cheap shot. Where's my knife? Where's my frickin' knife? Okay, I'm just gonna need a grenade. Here you go, chumps! Pathetic. Where's my knife again? Do you really think you're a match of crisp punch of border? I mean, what do you think of me? Like, you think so little of me, do you? Huh? Get off! The audacity of you. Well, there's a lot of you now, ain't there? Good thing I've plenty of bullets to go about. Okay, <gasps> I should really learn to guard more. I've reached the target location. Oh, here we are now. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. So what's that gonna do? Just blow it up? All right. Oh, nicely done, but now. Just a minute. It's a small idiot that way. Good thing I've plenty of grenades. Alright. Here you go, chumps. Oh, 
Oh, still reloading. Lovely. Ow! Okay, who did that? Who and why? of you will you give me some breathing space How many are there? Everyone okay? give me a break damn it these things are using weapons <laughs> I'm sure they're thinking the same about you is the target locator working uh, well it should be Come on, take your time. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. How long is it going to take you this time? Oh, Lordy Lou. Chris is actually quite sturdy. I mean, I've been stabbed like 10 times already. Okay, easier said than done. Okay, here we go. This should be the last time. Go. Okay, so just again go in guns blazing. Oh wait, is that is it this way we go? Yeah, it must be. Ah yeah, here we I go. Found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Mm, so I was right, it did originate here. <clears throat> so this is definitely gonna be the final battle. Or uh, I'd like to see what 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 what? How are you still alive? I thought I dealt with you already. Like, I'm pretty sure I blew you up. Unless you had a twin brother that I didn't know about. Guarding the Mega Mycene, huh? <sighs> Ow! Okay. I need help. Oh, well, you're definitely a little bit bigger, ain't you? Again, a lot easier said than done. Jeez, is your face made of steel or something? Oh, 
Oh. Nice. So just aim for the back. But I don't think he's going to give me that opening. Okay, I'll just lob another grenade at him. Maybe that should stun him for a bit. Wait, 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 where are you going? Hold your horses. I'm reloading. And then reload a little bit faster before I get crushed. There you go. Wait, is he done? <laughs> Did it all by myself. Giant crystal mace. The rest of you stay above ground. Okay, hopefully that is the last I'll see of him. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little burn told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Oh, okay. So that puts that theory to rest. Uh, Miranda isn't Rose's birth mother. Okay, that's fine. I found and... it. He's the wow. So what, we just point this thing at, at that ugly thing right there? This little feces looking thing? Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I am Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. And <laughs> now it's weighing on our conscience heavily. Oh well, what's done is done. This must be Miranda's lab. Can we have this ugly looking cat out thing? So they're using this to control the bioweapons. And this is how they're made. Oof. So they're implanted. Okay, so what? Is this Miranda? No, it couldn't be. Could it be? Maybe? Okay, just a bunch of photos here. Probably just of test subjects, more than likely. And these are probably her victims. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you are no longer this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. 
I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found a key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely your lifelong student. Oswell E. Spencer. Oh, so this is the founder of Umbrella and this is basically where it started. He was inspired by a car that carving we saw on the wall ages ago. Spencer, here. No way. So this is where Umbrella all started, more or less. Wow. So we've got quite the origin story on our hands here. Right, this looks like Evelyn a small bit. Okay, do we know any of these people here? Okay, this guy here. Can I zoom in? You have a weird head. And this must be Miranda again. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megma site. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megma site re regulator, the giant's chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megma site. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Megma site, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamocyte breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamocyte. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some like Alkina or Alcida who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. Okay, so the lichens are basically failed experiments. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect. Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose and thanks to them, I knew she'd be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. Okay, so that is the purpose behind Rose, but the... Or sorry, that is... Yeah, that is the purpose behind Rose. That is why... Crazy lady... Oh my god, I've already forgotten her name. Um, <laughs> the main villain of the game, and I've already forgotten her name. Miranda. 
So that is the purpose of uh, of roses or of Miranda's obsession with rose. Yikes! This is deep. Oh my god! I almost forgot these. I didn't even see them. Okay. Subject name: Salvatore Moriu. Cadu affinity low. Brain functions surprisingly low. The cadu has caused drastic changes to the internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Okay, moving on. Subject name, Alkina Dimitrescu. Cadu efficiency, or Cadu affinity, most favorable. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note. Due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Oh shit. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Cadu affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Narc Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen but still unfit vessel for Eva. Oh, so that's the story beyond his power. Now oh, bookworm. But I didn't read this yet. Subject name. Donna Beneviento. Cadu affinity favorable. Brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamocyte. Or mutamocyte, sorry. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadu among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Okay. Right, so these four people we killed, they were just test subjects for her. So there was no real family, there's no real bond between them. They're just experiments. Man, that's just cruel. Okay, I think we're about done here. Oh, no. One more thing. So this would have been Miranda and Eva. Okay. I kind of feel bad for her now, in a sense, but she is just pure, unadulterated evil. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. Okay, so Mia's still alive. You. I'm glad you saved Mia. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me. Where 
is my husband. Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Oh, I knew it. So Ethan isn't dead. Oh, I had a feeling. I've got my hands back. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there. Oh, I had an idea. I had an idea that I must have become infected at some point with the mold. How did I get here? God, freezing. Okay, Ethan, look at your hands. You've got them back. Body. What's You're that? So dumb. Oh my god. Eva? Uh, Evelyn? How are you here? You're dead. Am dead? I? I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... Wait, what are you on about, you crazy little demon girl? See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember. Yeah, I took quite a pummeling. The Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You <laughs> shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, <laughs> you! Then what, what am I? I... I... Did all that. <laughs> oh my god, just tell me what is up with me. I... Rose, I have to 
safe. My daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you little minx, I'm gonna slap you one. I will save Rose. Oh well. Wow. Oh no, I'm still missing my fingers. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? All right, back here again, back to square one. Don't suppose I can buy anything off you, Duke, now, can I? Okay, so this is something I didn't see coming, but I guess it was more or less a given, because we were attacked and beaten down so many times throughout the series. I mean, it's a kind of a staple of Resident Evil. You can get bitten by zombies and never infected, but... At least in this game, in this series, they're explaining it. They're, they're not just going to brush it off as... That, that's it's not. You, you can take a beating and still walk, walk away. Because as you remember, if anyone got bitten by a zombie in the original uh, Resident Evil series 1, 2, 3, you were immediately infected. No questions asked. Okay, we've got a lot of collectibles here. But again, they're not playing it off now. They're ac actually explaining why Ethan is as sturdy as he is. I mean, you could probably make the same argument for Chris, but Chris is a bit like, you know, a shipwreck house. At least that's somewhat explainable, and he might have antigens in his blood that can fight off the T-virus. Okay, I've been recording for an hour, but... I don't think there's that much left in the game, to be honest. So this is going to be the final stretch, the final push. So let's get this over and done with. So. I technically died in the last game. But when was I infected by the mold? And who infected me? Well, obviously the bakers, but why? Okay, well, all these questions are going to be answered sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And, you know, I wish I could have gone back to... Out of my way. Get out of my face! 
No, stay down. You stay down. You stay down. Hit any more? Of course, there's plenty of you. Stay down. Oh, good boat. And there's lots more of you. Look, just got bitten there, and I seem perfectly fine for the most part. You know, shotgun time. Okay, line up nice and slowly like that. Down you go. Good. But what I'm really interested interested in is how those got transformed. I really want to see that. God, it's too late. What? Oh no, it's still Rose. My power is leaving me. Rose. What are you doing with my daughter, you crazy bitch? Interesting. Your body certainly Give Rose to me, now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything... <gasps> Get her, now! Come on, Chris, take her down! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. Oh, like hell you will. My desires will be fulfilled. No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? Like, where's you? You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with two oh. So now you can die peacefully and permanently. Oh, like hell I will. not let you get away. Okay, this ain't working. Okay, how about There's this? Nothing. Where'd you go? Ooh. All right. I can also fight fire with fire. Get back. Ow. Ah, back to square one. Oh, I see. I should have taken cover behind these the first time around. Oh, I won't be the one dying today. Believe me, you. Okay, so you've turned into a creepy crawly. No problem, no problem. I got several explosives on hand. Oh, and I also got this stock and I didn't attach it. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's the end all right, but the end for you. Okay, 
Fucking, what are you? Fucking Virgil from Devil May Cry. Foolishness, Dante. <gasps> Oh! And believe me, you are quite nuts, so. Die. Wait, did that do anything? <gasps> Wait, what are those? <laughs> and will you get the hell down from there? Well, I won't be the next one to die. It'll be you. I can take any form I desire. I should probably use my sniper. Ow! Can I craft some? Yes, I can. You know, it probably won't. Hold still, yeah. Like, like hell are you will. Why don't you hold still? My aim isn't that good as you can quite clearly see. Slapping me about the place, would you? After all, everyone dies. Yeah, so you've said for the umpteenth time here. Gonna take a lot of handgun bullets to take that one down. Okay, what is your plan next? <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left oh. things in my hands. Oh. Yeah, like hell, I will. But you can wait another century. Oh my god, you're freaking spider form again? Would you knock it off with that crazy shit? Ethan, defend yourself a little bit better, would you? I will see my hopes. I must. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, I am such a dead man. Unless. Oh, one down, I go. <sighs> oh my god, this is it, I think. It's making time for you, you crazy bitch! Ow. Shotgun time? Pretty much the same ending as. Oh! And there's little baby Rose! Rose! Shh. Shh. It's, it's alright, Rose. It's alright. Oh my god, little Rose, you've been through hell and back. Wait, what? That bitch is dead. I think we've finished each other. Ethan, we gotta move. <laughs> oh, why do I think this isn't over yet? I'm in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Oh. oh, come on, no! Goodbye, Rosemary. Oh, come on, it can't end like this. No way. Say goodnight, ugly. Rose! Go! Go, 
take us up now. Moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? And that's where he is. SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Jesus. Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. So is there more? Okay, I'm convinced there's more to this. Um, either way, just while it's going through the credits, I'll give my thoughts. I'd say this has got to be the most thought out Resident Evil game I've ever played and I haven't really played a lot of them I haven't played I haven't played through all of them I just know of all the lore now I did originally play Resident Evil 1 on the PS1 years ago with my friend I didn't play 2 or 3 the originals I started off initially with Resident Evil 4 that's what got me into the entire series and then I went on to play 5 and 6 and of course 7 and I did a let's play of another spin-off series called Resident Evil Dead Aim. Not really canon, it was just a once-off spin-off game. So I don't think that game is really relevant to the entire series. But the main series 1, 2 and 3, well I have completed them all, but the remakes, you know, the remakes of 2 and 3, just not the original ones that came out in the PS1, GameCube, Nintendo 64, all, all, all those years ago. But uh, yeah, again, very well thought out story, it sort of wrapped it together in a nice little bundle and it's also setting up for, I guess, I'm not going to say a sequel, but definitely DLC of some sort, just like they did with Resident Evil 7 with Not A Hero DLC where we got a look at Chris in the new RE engine back in 2017 that's when Resident Evil 7 came out was it 2017 yeah it was because I got my PS4 in 2016 and yeah Resident Evil 7 came out in she snarled so more in turn is due in a blink the girl was trapped inside a mirror her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. 
Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Monty. Okay, so that was just the end of that story, I guess. The story that Mia was telling Rose was a metaphor for for the events that were about to unfold. Uh yeah. Just trying to take things to say here. Um, yeah, again, very good game. The combat is definitely greatly improved over the last game, and especially when it comes to upgrading and stuff like that. I'm glad that he brought the merchant back because it just made upgrading your weapons that bit more enjoyable rather than just trying to search for upgrades like stocks and clip upgrades like you did in Resident Evil 7. You found them in chests, I believe, or enemies sometimes dropped them like Marguerite or Jack, and they were just merely add-ons, but definitely a well-fleshed out game, definitely well thought out, definitely years in the making. Uh, yeah, quite scary at some points too, but I mean, throughout the end, it sort of lost its sort of um, fear factor while we're playing as Ethan. Now, surprisingly, the dollhouse, the mansion, that's what creeped out a lot of people. M me, not so much. Weird, yes, creepy, teeny bit, but did it scare me? No, 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 no. Because I think, you know, demonic deformed babies and stuff like that are sort of a cliche in, in some indie horror games. I've seen them before, I've dealt with them before. I mean, once you've seen one demon baby, you've seen several demon babies. I mean, any... And also, like, I like the way that they brought back, um, or at least that they made a reference to Oswald E. Spencer. I didn't hear that name since Resident Evil 5. Uh, was it in the DLC? I, yeah, there was DLC for Resident Evil 5, I forget what it was called. Um... I can't remember the exact name of the DLC, but there was a clip of Oswald E. Spencer that he was killed by Wesker. So, uh, yeah, just just sort of a, a callback to the origins of, you know, uh, um, Umbrella. They're saying how, how it was founded, how it came to be, how bioweapons came to be. This is quite literally just the origin story of how Umbrella was made and where they you know came up with it well I won't say where they came up with the T-Virus but just how it was founded the basis of it and yeah very nicely done so I'm just gonna fade out my webcam because I don't have really very much to say after this to be honest other than yeah I thought the game was very enjoyable and yeah that, that, that's about about it very solid gameplay you know thumbs up 10 out of 10 en enjoyed it well worth my money and I'd definitely, 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 definitely encourage anybody else who who might be just getting into the Resident Evil series or who might be new to it or even, of course, current fans, yeah, definitely get this game. Well worth this. How much did I pay? 60 euro. Yeah, pay 60 euro, euro for it and enjoyed it. But again, that's uh, all subjective. What I enjoy and what other people enjoy, that's totally irrelevant.
Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Not where they can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. So, th who is this? I'm guessing it is a grown-up baby Rose. Silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is here. Wearing her dad's jacket. Okay, so where are you going with this, Capcom? Oh, I see. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. <laughs> Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Oh, so she's now working. Stand down. I can oh. handle it. Just a kid. And you're kind of a jerk about that. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Okay, clearly, yeah, she she has got some sort of superhuman powers now but what those are they've yet to be explored so I'm guessing this is definitely going to set up either uh, DLC storyline content or setting it up for another sequel at some stage so is that it the father's story is now done. So, X on that? Great, Dad. And I earned a trophy. Two trophies. So, completion time 11 hours, 34 minutes, 46 seconds. A new difficulty is now available. The difficulty is going yada yada yada. The following has been added: concept art, concept art, dark extra content shop, figures, challenges, complete all challenges listed in challenges. Complete your points. You can use a variety of weapons. New game mode: weapons, concept art, figures. Okay, and the following movies have been added to the movies in the bonuses. Okay. Village of Shadows full version, creating the Village of Shadows, level design for the evil. Mm -hmm. So what is the Village of Shadows? What is that? You can now get a phone weapon from the extra content shop. The WCX. Okay. And I've got a total of X amount of points which can be used towards, you know, all that extra uh, bonus content. That's fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I just want to see what the Village of Shadows is. Is this just a difficulty or what? Survive the unsurvivable. Okay, um, I would probably do that in my own time. Who knows, I might stream it at some stage, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, final thoughts. Very well put together story. Uh, like, again, I like how it tied in with the previous Resident Evil I think 
It even had references to Resident Evil 5 with Africa and whatnot and the uh, progenerator virus, how it was discovered there and brought to go mainland America and then turned into the T-Virus, I assume. Also, it shows how crafted a character Ethan Winters was, but he still remains faceless. He is still a blank slate. I mean, sure, we... We got to know more of him. We got to know what he was like as a character. But still. Like. We haven't seen his face. That's the main thing. I really wanted to see what his face looked like. I mean he's still faceless to me. I've seen these 3D renders of him. But they're obviously all fake. And I think it's kind of just. Um, speaking of face. A punch to the face. To people who've played this game. Like, not letting us see him as, you know, as, as all the other characters. He is still just a blank, well, not really a fully, not a full blank slate, but like, we need to be able to put a face to a person. That's how we uh, build up that connection with them. That's how we empathize with them. That's how we get to love and adore them as, as a character. That is the point of story-based games like that. I mean, I suppose... In the same sense, it makes him a unique character because we will probably never know what he looks like. He'll always be a mystery man, more or less. He'll just be the guy from Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil current Resident Evil Village that saved his wife and daughter. And that will be about it and you know all his trials and tribulations up until this point. But... Um, Again, like I, I just really want to see what what he looked like. Maybe Capcom will eventually show us, his, will show off his face. Maybe, maybe they will. I'm <laughs> making a big deal of his face. I don't know why, um, but like, like I said, you're, I'm just so used to seeing all the main characters, all the playable characters. We're so used to knowing what they look like. That's the point I'm trying to make, and it kind of diminishes his character a small bit as well. Even though he is likable, he is a hero, great father, father of the year, dad of the year, what, what not. Again, we don't know what he looks like. We need to know, Capcom. Tell us what he looks like. Show us his face. Make DLC for him or something like that. I mean, who knows? I mean, he could still be alive and kicking. I mean, there could be a Resident Evil 9 in God knows how many years' time. Maybe if... If I was to give a rough guess, Resident Evil 7 came out in, what, 2017? This was announced at the end of 2020? Resident Evil 8, yeah? So we might see another sequel in 2024. Possibly. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say that that's a good guess. We'd probably see another sequel for Resident Evil Village another sequel we see a sequel for resident evil village in about 2023 2024 there or thereabouts and maybe we will see ethan make a comeback and maybe we will get to see his face once and for all he won't be you know faceless he won't be mystery man i mean and it is a pretty good setup and also again we might not the next game or DLC might focus around Rose and her powers. That is also a possibility as, as well. Because uh, they might be taking down BSAA if they are using, you know, BOWs. Because that is what the BSA, BSAA, BSSAA, whatever it's called, the agency, that's what they were against. That's what they were fighting against in Resident Evil 5. The BSAA were totally against the use of bioweapons. But here they are using bioweapons in Resident Evil Village. But, at the same time, they're using them for a good cause. But, you know, what starts off as a good cause can start out to be something evil. Ah, oh, I've rambled on too much. Either way, fun thoughts on the game. Definitely, I'd say, solid 9 out of 10. Gameplay, gameplay mechanics were awesome. Felt very solid, especially with the uh, dual sense here. Only thing I don't like, like about this controller is its lack of colors. I mean, I, I really want to see these buttons here uh, have the original green, orange, 
pink and blue for the respective buttons. That's the only complaint I have about these controllers. But other than that, getting back to the game, solid 10 out of 10, enjoyed it. Um, so no, no. <laughs> 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I mean, I'm docking them a point just for not giving Ethan a face. I mean, we barely saw. We saw he said. We saw what type of hair he had. But at the end, he's just ducking down Capcom. We're clearly just obviously avoiding showing us his face, what what he looked like. And again, maybe that's just to build up hype for when he makes or if he makes a comeback. Possibly. These are just all theories I'm throwing out here. And yeah, I think I'm done. Well grounded game, good story. Uh, provided a bit of an origin to Umbrella, which is great. We we knew how it started, how it, we know how it started, how it came to be. And um, even though these things were kind of thrown in that last minute, I feel it kind of wraps it up in a nice, pretty little bow, as it were. So uh. Yeah, go ahead, download the game, buy the, buy the game, you can buy it off the PlayStation Store, or whatever your preferred platform is, Steam, uh, Xbox Store, PlayStation Store. Me, I'm mostly a PlayStation guy, I have an Xbox One myself, but I barely use it. So uh, yeah, PlayStation all the way for me, and Steam as well. Anyway guys, I've talked too much. So you know what to do, if you did enjoy this video by some miracle, drop a like, or drop a comment, whichever you prefer, and of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.